Hey, Midnight, it's me, your favorite scene, Joe. Welcome to a spooky point and click. It's the Midnight Scene series, and this is Midnight Scenes 3, The Nanny. Uh, we actually streamed the first two, and I need to find them. And when I find them, they were very short. Episode 1 is like 5 minutes. Episode 2 is like 15 minutes. This game, I think, is about 40 minutes long, so it'll probably take us about an hour. But um, I'll put the other, the first two on Patreon when I find them, and we're going to start here with a VOD for Midnight Scenes 3. Are you ready? This is kind of like a Twilight Zone. Do y'all know Twilight Zone? Spooky Door? That's a clock, it, but that's the mouse. So I'll move it down here. Is something supposed to be happening? Oh, <laughs> that's an eye. I'll just narrate the whole thing. Y'all are in for a treat. Um, that's how you get LASIK. This is what it looked like when I got LASIK. And I opened my eye like that, and then a laser shone in it. Oh, on tonight's The Eye. On tonight's episode, two innocent children will face their most primal fears, haunted by mysteries from beyond the grave. Ancient secrets that should never have been unearthed, tormented souls wandering between realities. Turn off the lights and enjoy this chilling tale. tale. I love the setup. Welcome to another dimension. Welcome to Midnight Skeens. <laughs> I think this takes place in 80, 86, before I was born. So young. You get all that, that nice old TV crackling. Not what the point of moat with the the hushy zouchy. Do you want me to turn off the lights? Do y'all turn off all your lights? It's supposed to be spooky. Also, I love this house. By the way, I haven't played this game. I played the intro to see what it was about, but um, I don't know when anything that happens. October 1986. I love a purple house with circles. You got to close the blackout curtains. Brutalist. Good morning. My name's John Wilson. So Tina's saying this. Uh-oh. Good morning. Wait a second. I am John Wilson. What are you talking about? You must be a double. A double? Are you crazy? Doubles don't exist. Really? How do you explain this? Oh no, you're a doppelganger, my evil double, aren't you? Are you here to kill me and steal my identity? I don't want to die so young. Are you coming to say goodbye to mom and dad? I'm busy. So it's Oliver and Tina. And I'm Oliver, so I have to pick what to say. They're going to be away for three days once you miss them. What are you playing anyway? I still can't believe they bought me another identical Benny for my birthday. They don't care about me at all. They don't even remember which toys they already gave me. Or maybe they just saw how much you liked it the first time and wanted you to recapture that. Just dot, dot, dot. I don't need to respond to Tina. Can I have one? No way, I'd rather keep playing this stupid go doppelganger thing for the rest of my life. <laughs> the mu the background music's really nice. I really appreciate it. It's spooky. Oh, I'm me now. So, me as an Oliver. This is what we, back in the 86, I, well, I wasn't alive. But, um... This is art work, and we used to have to read the clock analogically. Analogically, the M and M stain is still there. What did the how the M and M leave a stain? Leave that off. Support your indie devs. Well, y'all don't know this about me, but when we learned how to read the read clocks, I think in 
second grade. It took me a long time to figure it out. <laughs> the Jordan's garden looks so empty since Thomas got sick. Uh oh. That's Tina. Oh, this is Tina's room. I better not go into Tina's room if I want to stay alive. Poor thing. Did it say poor thing? It's dying. When people come to my stream, that's the first thing they type. <laughs> poor thing. It's dying. New walkie talkies. I don't think we can do anything now. I think we need to just go tell the parents goodbye. Galaxy of Cats Part 2. Sounds dumb. He's got bad interests. Poor thing, it's dying. <laughs> Ain't no log. Ugly artwork, hideous. So that's the babysitter. That's what babysitters looked like in the 80s. We had an off the shoulder um, sweatshirt. Have a great trip. The bay is beautiful this time of year. Wish we were going for pleasure, not work. We should go. The plane leaves in three hours. We might hit some traffic. See, that's unbelievable, though. You used to not have to get... Back in the 80s, I didn't fly till like, 2000-something. You just roll up to the airport whenever you want. Bye, Mom. Bye, Dad. Tina hates you. You had the tights on with the slippers. This music was everywhere in the 80s. Well, here we are. We still have a couple hours till dinner time. What do you want to do? I had a fun babysitter. Her name was Melissa. And uh, she would play Nintendo with us. That's it. And that was fun. Let's watch... Oh, I hate TV. The Amazing Jesse Marks is about to start. I love that show. We will play Nintendo. And then we will play... I had to have been like five. Of course you do. TV is entertainment for dumb kids. Oh. Chat loves TV, though. Oh, make you things out of duct tape. I think we would do like, we would make potions in the sink, which was literally just get a jar, put like soap in it and water, mix different things in it, and we would call it a little food coloring maybe and call it a potion. Well, I guess I have to say let's paint. Tina hates everything about me. I like to paint trucks that explode and, and Tina says, your drawings are boring. You paint like a little baby. That's not true. He probably does. Kids' artwork is always so bad. <laughs> Kid, kids' artwork is so bad. Tina, don't talk to your brother like that. It's Christina. Only my family calls me Tina. I've taken care of you so many times. Don't you consider me family yet? Pfft, don't be ridiculous. Maybe she wants to tell us what to do. Oh, Veronica's the babysitter, by the way. Let's go to the forest. The forest? On the other side of the lake. Um, yeah, it's super cool. We go there on some afternoons with mom and dad. We cross the lake on the boat and have a picnic. Can we go, please? That way I can look for my toy truck. I lost it in the clearing the other day. Fine, just for an hour and then we come back. Pick up the oars. No, when the sun sets, we don't go in a boat. So I gotta get the oars. Got them. The Jordan's trees are invading our garden. We're gonna call the HOA. Is that what you call it in the neighborhood? Homeowners Association. We're going to get the Homeowners Association to write them a $200 um, uh, ticket. Sparkle hasn't come to eat in days. Uh-oh. Is Sparkle okay? Oh, 
<laughs> then, not this. Back before y'all were playing Among Us, we were in boats. Do either of you know how to row? I've never piloted a boat. Leave it to the professionals. But it's safe, right? If I were babysitting kids, we would not get in a boat. We're not getting in a boat. We're not getting on water. Don't be afraid. There are no monsters in the lake or anything like that. Just sit next to me and take my hand. Ugh, get in the boat, lovebirds. Okay, drag the oars all aboard. No life jackets. I know. Not <laughs> this. Now everyone's on their iPads. Can I see the tree paintings? I want to go look for my truck. Can I go look for my truck? You're always losing stuff. You'll lose your stupid head one day. Tina keeps calling us stupid, but her reads are total flops. Okay, you can go. Don't walk too far away. Don't want to lose sight of you. All right, later. Bye, family. This is as far as I got, so it's all new from here. Very straight limbs. Look at these. They look like ladders. People are so inconsiderate. That's what it said, not me. I think it's nice that someone left the candy bar on the ground. No, I can't swim. I don't know how to swim. I could probably stay afloat for a little bit. I can't swim. Why would I swim? Well, I think humans evolved to be on the land and we don't need to go back. We're not meant to go back. <laughs> it says all, does it say all of her inside of its eye? Something's not right though. Something about that. Now, something about that in particular. Something's not right. <laughs> they say if you count the rings, you can read their age. There's more drawings. Bones. <gasps> oh no, what if that sparkles? I was gonna tie, tie it up. More drawings. No one's like suspicious about all these drawings. There's a squirrel. Oh no. <laughs> Mama, that's me with those melon Kit Kats. We, when okay. I was in Philly. <laughs> Thanks Titan girl for that sticker. I appreciate it. Mama, let me tell you, when I, when we were in Philly this past weekend, we went to a little market and they had mango Kit Kats. I had got it and that was me. That was me. Oh, you gotta try the mango Kit Kats. Relatable. More drawings. Oh, sticks. Guess it's got enough ropes on it. More drawings. Mom never lets me play this far from the clearing. My truck must be around here somewhere. Why would your truck be somewhere that you never are allowed to go? That doesn't make sense. Oh, there it is. Here you are. Who put you there? Hey, Oliver, come here. There's something I want to show you. That's not Tina. Tina? Tina? What are you doing here? That's not Tina, Mama. Mama, that was never Tina. Too nice. <laughs> it wasn't Tina! So many squirrels in this forest. One time they ate a kid from town oh, head to toe. Said. And you know what? I, what was that? Thank you so much, Diamond Lake. I appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. Only his bones remained. I'm not lying. It was on the news. That's creepy. By the way, where's your brother? I told him not to walk far away. Don't ask me. I'm not the babysitter. Now that's a good comeback. 
Oliver. Uh oh. <laughs> That's a drawing of me. Why is there a new drawing of me on that rock? <laughs> Why is there a nude drawing of me on that rock? Some and something about that. <laughs> Tina and Bina. Oliver. What's wrong? What the hell is that? The forest is full of paintings like that. Nina said, whatever. Dad said there's this magical aura from the tribes that lived in the woods. It keeps the paintings bright. This one, though, I haven't seen it before. It certainly looks recent. So creepy, you didn't paint it to scare passerby, did you? How would I have painted it? It's like 20 feet tall. I thought she was going to slap Tina. <laughs> I thought she walked over there to slap Tina and tell her to stop sassing her. Uh, dot, dot, dot. Oliver? Come on, it's time we go back. I don't like this place. It gives me the creeps. Come, Oliver, let's go. Oliver? Oliver! <laughs> What's happening? Is he all right? <laughs> like you care, Tina. No idea. Come on, help me get him to the boat. And no one had cell phones back then. And no one had cell phones back then. Do you think it was the crow that had his name carved in his eye? Thank God you're back. How are you feeling? What happened? What ha happened? A blood sugar drop probably. Here, eat this chocolate. Ooh, love chocolate. It's good. Hazelnut's my favorite. Really? Mine too. Hey, are you sure you're okay? Wow. Maybe I should call That's the doctor. Up. <laughs> Not <laughs> Oliver's a flop. Thanks, Titan girl. How long was I unconscious? You've been in and out for about 10 minutes. That's a vast amount of time to row across the lake. You scared us to death. And Tina, where's she? In her room, I think. She hates you. She, he didn't, she didn't say that part. I wonder what she wanted to show me. What do you mean? In the woods, she told me to follow her. I tried, but she walked too fast. I bet he's not really here. Then I found this strange drawing on the rock. It really impressed you, huh? I don't know, I guess. Typical kids can't draw art and can't appreciate good art. And that's the T. Can't, kids can't draw art or appreciate art, good art. <laughs> the lasagna I brought will surely bring you back to life. Evanescence, wake me up. Looks like dinner did wonders. I like that happy rosy face. Now rest, little prince. Have sweet dreams. Don't listen to her. What? Tina, she's always mean, but I think you're cool. Oh, thank you very much. I think you're cool, too. I really enjoyed taking care of you both, you know? You're very interesting kids. Hey, do you want me to show you my collection of cards? <gasps> it's from the Midnight Zombies TV series. Sure, I'd love that. Maybe let's not look at zombie cards before bed. Oh, this reminds me of what? What's it called? Mighty, Mighty Max? This one, he's always nice to the living. Oh. Baby zombie. Okay. Oh, tag your chat. Tag yourself. Whichever zombie you are, tag yourself. Don't be fooled. Even though it's a baby, this one has super sharp teeth. Hungry zombie. This one's the most evil. She devours brains. And this is my favorite. Isn't she cute? I'm that. I'm baby zombie. <laughs> I'm baby zombie. Hope you don't dream of braining zombies tonight. Get some rest, Oliver. Good night. 
not, I guess we're just sleeping in our jeans. I guess we're just sleeping in our jeans. I wonder if they carved anything into my eyes when I got LASIK. Something about that. And something about that. Oliver, hey Oliver, are you awake? What do you want? It's Veronica, she's gone. She left us. Stop, you're always trying to scare me. Go to hell, Tina. <laughs> if you don't stop, I'll tell mom when she gets back. I saw her from my window. She was walking towards the pier. Not pajama jeans. Do they still sell pajama jeans? I feel like that's not Tina. Or maybe she must be meeting her boyfriend secretly when she should be taking care of us like that other time. <laughs> You made that up. You never liked Veronica. I didn't make it up. I saw them kissing. Ew. But this time I have my camera. I'll take pictures. <laughs> that's fucking weird, Tina. <laughs> okay, Tina, that's fucking weird. See something? The boat's missing. They've gone to the other side of the lake. How romantic. How? She doesn't know how to steer the boat. More proof that she's with her boyfriend. I can see a light in the forest, but nothing more. Dad has the old binoculars in his office. I'm not going into Daddy's office at night. It's dork. This is your chance to prove you're not a coward anymore. Not this emotional manipulation. Okay, what can I grab? Can I get anything in here? Poster, window. Oh, it said the garden is full of crows. I've never seen so many. Walkie talkies! It won't let me take him. It just, he just says he's eager to try them out. I want to go downstairs and see what's on TV. Captain Burnt Toast, thank you for the six months, by the way. I appreciate it so much. Thank you, thank you. Great to have you here. Did this get spooky? I don't know if that was spooky before. What if I just left? <laughs> what if I just left? Dad would be mad if he found out I've been snooping his, around his office. 1967, 1975. Well, it doesn't look like he has any chess trophies. I have chess trophies. Chat, I have chess trophies. <laughs> I wonder if Dad killed someone in the war. Good God. Oh, I'll take the key. Hello? It's chat. I hear many voices. It's chat. Who is it? Many voices whispering evil things. My chat? <laughs> My chat? It's just the biggest, uh, it's just the biggest dildo. <laughs> no, do you know who it fucking, do you know who's been calling me once a day? Nielsen from Nielsen Ratings, trying to get me to rate TV shows. I, when I don't even watch TV, I've been getting a call to two calls a day from Nielsen. Cause Justin filled out one of the forms once. And I guess we put my phone number on it. Anyway. 
Call my husband. He watches TV. If they're watching. I like Veronica, but Miss Marquez was a super cool nanny. Oh, we used to have a, a nanny. She had a this eye patch. I miss her. She never would have left us. Ooh. Oh, here they are. Is this a condom? Oh, it is. It says he... What's this? So squishy. Not this. I just got an achievement called Dad's Secret. That's not a secret. Yeah, I wouldn't want any more kids either after these two. <laughs> that crow is staring at me. I wouldn't want any more kids either. After Tina. Violent Goblin. Welcome. Great to have you here. Oh, let's go in Tina's room. There's that crow that... Where's that crow that had his name carved in my eye? Where's that crow with the name carved in my eye? Oh, the condoms with the... I didn't even get... I didn't even understand that. The dad was cheating with the old nanny. Oh. I see Veronica. She's alone and looks confused. Hey, wait, she stole my flashlight. <laughs> Come on, let's go to the pier. Maybe we can see what's going on from there. Okay, I'm not staying home alone. Get dressed, grab the walkie-talkies. But we're not going to... Oh, get split up or something. Okay, I'll get the walkie-talkies. Get them yourself, Nina. The, Tina, they're right there. MG Link, thank you for the gift sub. I appreciate that so much. Thank you, thank you. It's always great to have you here. I do appreciate that. Is that real Nina or is that Bina? Oh, I don't know where the stairs are. Great, let's go to the pier. Something about that. You have to turn off the lamps. You can't leave the lights on. And then... Wait, I thought it was the middle of the night. It's 10... Oh, I told y'all I struggled. 15, 20... 20, 20, 20. <laughs> it's 10-something? <laughs> and maybe I still struggle telling time. So why don't you stop yelling at me? 1022. I can... I can tell time. Why are the crickets so loud? So maybe point that finger back at yourself. <laughs> yeah, that's really loud. Why are the crickets so loud? That's not turning them down at all. Are they part of the music? <laughs> this game said loud ass crickets? Sure. All right. Sorry about the crickets. They're yelling. Is that the one with my, the name? No. Why didn't we give Tina one of the walkie-talkies? I guess it's just in case we split up. Okay, the crickets died. They were just in the backyard. <gasps> it's 1020 there. I hope this isn't happening to you. I hope your babysitter doesn't go missing. No, that's the game. That's the that's them 8-bit crickets. We'll have to walk around the lake on foot. Something about this isn't right. I 
I don't like it when you get bossy like this. Why does everything have to be done your way? Well, I don't like dragging along a whining, crying baby either. So we both have to put up with it. Okay, Chad, are y'all Tina or Oliver? So I was... My sister's three years older than me, so I'm, I'm essentially Oliver. <laughs> Sometimes you're not such a crap, but my sister did not treat me like this. We might have had a phase where she was cooler than me. But we've always been pretty close. There's something floating in the water. Looks like a bag. It's Veronica's bag. Are you sure? Yeah, it has Pierre the cat's face on it. It's hers. Did she drop it? Okay, I know what to do. I'm gonna lasso it. Oh, I'm gonna get a pruner. What's that? I already have the pruner. Oh. Cut Nina. Oh. <laughs> Don't cut Nina. Did you find something? Um. Ah, ah, I thought I did. Okay, I have the pruner. Maybe I need to find something else. Maybe I need to go inside. Okay, loud crickets. Yell over the crickets. Oh, I need a tree branch. I'm gonna cut the tree branch off. That's the ticket. Loud crickets. Tina! You my team Nina? Team Tina or Ni Do I keep saying Nina? Her name should have been Nina. Something's wrapped around my leg. I can't get out. What do I do? Hey, hey, calm down. Everything will be fine. Come on, throw me something to hold on to. No, that's fucking scary. No, no, no. That's fucking terrifying. Now go find help. Mrs. Jordan is awake. I saw a light on in her window. I hate this. Ooh, I hate this. Should we watch her die? The battery is very low. Shit. Okay, we gotta find Miss Jordan's house. I assume we're gonna go through this hole. Go through that hole. Oh no, such sparkles hasn't come to eat in days. I used to be so scared of walking around. So, <laughs> modern art, yeah. What did I tell you? Kids can't draw art and they can't appreciate art. What did I tell you? He said, modern art, yuck. No, we're not in a hurry. Maybe we should play with the truck. What did I tell you? <laughs> no, he's right, though. <laughs> I, I did call it ugly. But it's locked? Do you not know how to open your own god goddamn door? <laughs> Wait, are you joking me? Oh, keys. I was about to be like, is someone joshing me? How do you lock it? The door was locked from the inside with keys? No, it's not <laughs> If you think me having all my teeth is going to make me a nicer person, you're in for a rude awakening, Eric. <laughs> when I get my final dental implant, I'm gonna be even meaner. 
Tina, are you still there? Yes, I'm freezing, though. If you found help, I'm on it. Not we know. What are the crows doing? I hope that's not sparkle. Oh, Jesus. I got an achievement for that. It said sparkle? Ding dong. Ding dong. Oliver! This is what Mrs. Jordan sounds like. This is what the neighbor always sounds like in the 1980s movie. What are you doing here? <laughs> kind of like Mrs. Doubtfire situation. Is everything all right? Miss Jordan, I need help. Our babysitter was staying with us, but she left. We went looking for her and... Okay, okay, breathe. <laughs> Come on in, it's cold outside. Slow down, what happened? Tina fell into the lake. Oh my God, is she okay? <laughs> Yes, but we can't get her out of the water. She needs help. And where are your parents? They're out. They left us with a babysitter, but she abandoned us. Okay, I'll run to the pier to help. <gasps> it's Chad again. Your sister. Oh, you stay here and attend Thomas in case he needs anything. You know he requires special... Oh, is that the sick neighbor? Something about that? He's in his room. Keep an eye on him. I'll be RB. She's gonna die. I'm gonna drink um, this bottle. Peach juice. Yummy. <laughs> Look at the lipstick on it. That's some good pixel art. I like the bubblegum color. So original. Thomas's room. And whose room is that? Okay, I can't go any further. I'm gonna go upstairs. I'm gonna go snooping. I'll let Joe figure it. What did I do? Now we're the babysitter. Oh, I'm not even allowed to go there. Wait, what? You're letting me figure out what? That worries me. What have I not figured out? Check the neighbor's jewelry box. Jewelry box? Steal all of her antique rings. Oliver, what are you doing here? Tina's in trouble. Your mom went to help her. Really? I thought mom was taking a bath upstairs. <gasps> Nobody's real. Something about Miss Jordan. She was different? Was she different when the lights came back on? Miss Borden. <laughs> Sorry, sometimes my medication makes me confused. Is Tina okay? She fell in a lake and can't get out. I don't fucking know. Ask her. Here's a walkie-talkie. Well, don't worry. Mom's very strong. She'll pull her out of the water. Come on, she'll be fine. I swear, though, I thought Mom was chilling in the bathroom. I hate this medication. Oliver's like, pass it. And then they start blazing. Oliver put some in his vape. <laughs> How do you feel? Physically or mentally? Mentally. Well, it's only been two months since Dad died. It's been hard and Mom makes me go to therapy with a super boring lady. Physically? I can't take two steps without gasping for air. Mama, that's called being 36. Other than that, I feel wonderful. <laughs> Can I ask you something that I never asked you before? You don't have to answer if you don't want to. Oh, you never tell me how your father died. I don't know. Mom never talks about it. One day he got a call from the doctor and suddenly he stopped talking to us. He spent the rest of his days crying and sleeping. Sorry, I'm sure he loved you very much. I don't know. He changed a lot. About your illness. Are you going to die soon? I'd be very... <laughs> Oliver, you can't just ask people if they're going to die soon. 
You're my best friend at school. Yeah, no idea. Mom always makes plans for the future. But I think she does it just to cheer me up. Her words are happy, but her face is sad. Oh no, the game got ripped. Is Tina, by the way, is Tina okay? These are Nancy Drew style questions. No sense of aware, no awareness of the situation. But I don't care too much about it. I'm not afraid of dying. Really? I'll go back to the same dark, tranquil place where I was before I was born. Okay, work. Okay, work. Anyway, let's stop talking about sad things. Look, I want to show you something. It's super cool. An Ouija board? <laughs> I know it's Ouija. I found it Life. at Mom's That's closet. That's death. That's death. 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 It's all death. Thanks, Titan Girl. Very topical. Oh, and Sassy K, thank you for the 14 uh, months. Uh, great to have you here. I do appreciate that. Hope you're having a good Tuesday. Did he just say she you would use this to talk to their dead dad? Yeah, sure, there's lots of people. I want to contact Miss Marquez, my old nanny. How about my dog? Nice choice, but we need someone who can respond. Elvis? Elvis, but he's still alive on that secret island where all the famous people live. Okay, it has to be the nanny. She lived in this house before you moved in. Uh-oh. She was great. She had one eye missing and wore an eye patch like a pirate. We don't need to tell everyone that. The secret island. Elvis? Y'all didn't see the movie? One day, she suddenly disappeared. Mom told us she went to live on her family's farm and called, <laughs> not the family's farm. But Tina says she saw an ambulance and the police. We think something horrible happened to her. Mothers lie, you know. They do it to protect us, but they lie. Why does Thomas know so much? We're going to contact your old babysitter. If she died in this house, her presence will be super strong. It'll be super cool, you'll see. I don't know. Y'all ever done Ouija board? I don't believe in that shit. But in high school, I did a Ouija board with a couple of friends, and it scared me the fuck out. And I, but I don't believe in it, so I, I don't know what, who was doing what. It scares the shit out of me. Here, put your hand on this triangle thing. It's called Kate Planchette. Nina, the battery's low. Oh. That's a deep, dark hole. Yeah. Thank you, Barbaric Eric. Are you referring to the other side, the other realm? Death. <laughs> Thanks, Barbaric Eric. Okay, moisturized hands. Eyes closed. Focus on your old babysitter's image. I found this picture. Do you think it might help? Sure. I'm summarizing. Super cool. She really looks like... <laughs> this picture will attract your spirit. Yeah, she looks fun. She really had a side part before they were a thing. We simply say goodbye and she'll leave without a trace. Ready? It spells out like a coupon code for dominoes. God, why don't they ever do that? Why is it always some kind of freaky stuff? Why can't dead people spell out like... Can't... It's like retail me not. <laughs> It's like retail me not. And it tells you all the coupon codes that actually work. Oh, Andy. I still use it. 
It spells exclamation point merch. Someone is on his ceiling, diarrheaing blood on down below. <gasps> the mom's dead in the bathroom. The bathroom's right above us. Maybe mom left the tap running. Don't get up. I'm gonna go take a look. Wait here. What you got some cool posters? Midnight zombies work. Well, Thomas. Oh, look at the twinkle lights. Cute room. Anyway. Well, yeah, it's kind of supposed to be scary. It's a scary game. <laughs> but that's why I'm playing it. Something about that. S something about that seems off. I'm not an investigator. I'm not a scientist. But something about this. This is me in the bathtub when I, when I, this is me when I, <laughs> I put three strawberry gushers in my mouth. Mama, you're gargling. Me when I chomp on three strawberry gushers. Oh, oh my God. Miss Jordan, but how? I don't get it. If this is Miss Jordan, then who's with Tina? If you're here, Tinta? Are you there? That's Mrs. Jordan is not the real Mrs. Jordan. Miss Jordan is dead. There's blood everywhere. Tina, do you hear me? I have to get to the pier quickly. That is a gorgeous bathtub. I just have to tell you, I'll never have a bathtub like that. That is, oh, Oliver, what is it? I heard you screaming. Stay there, don't go upstairs. Why, what happened? Was it an open tap? He didn't even turn it off. It's, it's gonna cause mold. Mama, that's gonna cause mold. Listen to me, I have to find Tina. Stay here and call the police. Do what I tell you. Just do it and tell them to come fast. Finally, someone actually calling the police in this game. What's the police's phone number? Can we go back and tell him the police's phone number? He's clearly not smart. Oh, I was just going to walk out of town. I'm not allowed to leave town. Oh, those crows dragged that thing away. I like how he kind of moonwalks a little bit when you switch directions. I was just gonna walk out of town. I swear I turned this light off. Didn't I turn this light off? I always turn the lights. Now I'm now I can't turn the light off. What if we go to Tina's room? Oh, it's only been like 40 minutes. I don't want to tell time. <laughs> I, can't, I can't tell analog time under pressure. Okay? <laughs> I can't tell analog time under pressure. Do you understand? So stop yelling. It's only been f f seven, or, seven or eight hours, right? Is it seven, eight hours? Tina? Oh no, she's gone. Oh no. All right, there's some footprints. It's time to, we should read her, her shoe size. Looks like she went this way with her big old feet. <laughs> some footprints leading to the path that borders the lake. Hey, Mrs. Jordan's Double taken has Miss Jordan's double taken Tina to the woods, but why? I have to go find her. 
Looks like these might be Tina's big old footprints. Bigfoot. It's either Bigfoot in these woods or Tina. Oh, is that squirrely in the flashlight? Tina, Veronica. My flashlight. Oh, ouch. Easy, easy. Is it not eating me? If I get closer, it will bite me. Well, Diva, throw something at it. Dad, Mama, that's rabies. Mama, that's rabies. The buzzing hurts your... Oh, that the squirrel's doing? Well, 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 if it isn't my chat telling me to kick a squirrel again. No, we've handled this before. So suddenly my chat does want me to kick the squirrel? Because cause what is it, chat? Do the, kick the squirrel, don't kick the squirrel. All this bullshit again. Oh, I can walk past it. I just can't get the flashlight. Okay, no flashlight. I'm fine with that. Esta bosque es muy... is very dark. Without a flashlight. Sin linterna. Without light, without a flashlight. Is Linterna flashlight? Work. Was there something to click on? Oh, to the forest. Rosetta Stone, Mama. I gotta do more of my Spanish lessons. Surely there's something I can throw. There's a drawing. Oh, maybe I can, can I grab it from this side? No, he's not that smart. <laughs> that squirrel is eating my legs. The squirrel ate my legs. Just replace the flashlight with the truck. Throw the flashlight at the squirrel. Oh, that's what he wants to do. Here, have fun. That is so piggy. That's my dog. <laughs> That's piggy. <laughs> Let him have a nibble. Is the cricket noise? I love the cricket noise. It reminds me of living in the woods and being scared shitless every night and crying myself to sleep. <laughs> Tina, thank goodness I found you. Are you okay? I thought I'd lost you forever. Come with me, Oliver. The noise is... Really? It doesn't even show that it's very... That it's very loud. Oh! It's... Right now, it's like negative 14 decibels. Oh, interesting. Not Bina's Revenge. Now it's very quiet. It's like the frequency or hertz or something interesting. What was that? <laughs> what was that? Tina, where are you? Where's that crow that had my name carved in its eye? That one was fun. That one knew how to party. Something about that. <laughs> Mama, she had the gushers too. She had three strawberry gushers. What is happening? I mean, that's just what it looks like when I look in the mirror. I mean...
Oh, that might have been the end, by the way. My little Oliver is... I just looked and we've been playing for an hour and this game's only 40 minutes long. <laughs> and this game's only 40 minutes long! The police took pictures of the modern art. The parents are like, what had happened? Don't worry, we'll find them, even if we have to turn the world upside down. I've never seen anything like it. Two children kidnapped, the neighbor brutally murdered in her bathtub, the babysitter missing. What the hell happened here tonight? In the span of uh, 45 minutes, 20 to 45 minutes, <laughs> we found Veronica Turner, the babysitter, in the woods. She's dead. also murdered it seems she murdered herself <laughs> ooh wendigo damn it there's something else you better see it with your own eyes it's a human turd with googly eyes that's something you gotta see with your own eyes mama a human turd with googly eyes Oh, I'm the detective now. I thought it was over. Maybe it is over. I like that this game's supposed to be 40 minutes long and so far we've been playing an hour. <laughs> and that's just how we do things around here and I think that's fun. This is what Glamour Shots at the Mall was like. Do you remember Glamour Shots at the Mall? I never did them. Look at her wounds. It looks like a wild animal attack. A wild animal doesn't murder people in their bathtubs or kidnap children, though. If you think that's strange, you haven't seen it all yet. Take a look at the rock. What am I supposed to see here? Agent, point the light at the painting. This is what happens when you don't appreciate artwork. What the hell? Something about that. <laughs> Something about that just isn't sitting right with me. Oh yeah, we're gonna play more of these too. We're uh, more of the midnight scenes games. I think I have them all. I got them in a bundle. Poor Oliver. Poor Tinta. We might never know what happened to them. But don't fret. Something tells me Detective Taylor won't rest until she finds an answer. For now, it's a secret between two siblings. And the creature of the forest. Thank you very much for enjoying this new chapter of Midnight Scenes with us. That I think they progressively... They... <laughs> By the way... Uh, I think they progressively... No, I think the other ones are longer. The first two are like five minutes and the second one's like 15 minutes or something. Not is the eyeball hot. Do y'all think that... Do y'all think that I... Um, belongs to a hot person? So we've played one and two, which I, I told y'all I'll probably put on Patreon. I think I recorded them. That we... Uh, we, I streamed them on like an off day. Creatures of the night are lurking. Good night in sweat dreams. Not that no. Apple could get it. <laughs> Thanks, Casey. I appreciate it. Where's the Marvel end credits, end credits scene? Zora! We just finished the game! <laughs> No, the eyeball is... I think the eyeball tells the story in every single game. The eyeball... Uh, the eyeball just tells the story. Oh, wait! Her eyeball! Oh, my God. Not the bloopers. The bloopers where Tina forgets her lines. 
the outtake where they're actually recording a tick a prank TikTok. Okay, that was a lot of fun. We'll plan on playing midnight scenes uh, at, into the woods, out of the woods. We had to find dinner. Uh, hopefully next week. I'll see what the schedule's like next week. Oh no. That's all for today. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for experiencing this spooky game. I hope you're able to sleep. I hope it didn't scare you too much. Thank you for the bits, donations, subs, gift subs, wonderful Patreon patrons. I'll try to get the, the those and um, the uh, that fun drawing, Gartic phone game up on Patreon real soon. Love y'all so much. Stay hydrated. Take care of yourselves. I will see y'all on Thursday with some ham ham heartbreak.